You know, when you're in business, and especially when you're self-employed, and you want to satisfy the needs of your customers, it's oftentimes very difficult to learn that two-letter word, no. Well, I've been at this long enough that I've had a lot of practice saying no, and I'm still not very good at it. You know, I have been saying for the last couple of years, I'm really not into building wheels so much anymore. One is I've had enough practice. I've been at it 44 years. And secondly, as I endeavor to put together this video library via YouTube, I have covered the aspect of wheels sufficiently to where it becomes redundant, not so much for me, but it does for you. So for the most part, when I get requests, can you build me a set of wheels, 95 to 99% of the time I can say, I don't do that anymore. But this last week I had an 81 year old woman come in that lives here locally, is remodeling her kitchen and it was looking for a buggy wheel as an ornament over her kitchen sink. I said, are you trying to build a chandelier? No, I just want to hang it on the wall, one, so it's memory of the days that I remember, and it comes locally from your shop. How do you say no to that? Well, I didn't have an old one here, and that's what she really would like, is an old wheel. But she looked around and I looked around and nothing was surfacing that satisfied her need and especially in the diameter that she needed. So she said, could you build me one? Yeah, I can build you one. So that's what I'm going to do this week. So that's kind of my after work project because it's really not on my regular schedule anymore. But I have some parts here that I have assembled to build this wheel. I have this hub here. It's a new core. I have somewhere in the past sandblasted and cleaned up the flanges, so I'm going to use this for the hub. I have 16 spokes here, and they're a sovereign spoke, but they're brand new, and she would like this to have that weathered look. So I'm going to take these, I'm going to cut them off to about 16 inches. That'll still be a little longer than I need. And I'm going to run them through the sandblaster to give them a little more of a rough effect instead of this nice smooth finished effect. She would like a 32 inch wheel when it's finished. So I have a pair of 32 inch fellows here. And then I have a tire that's an old tire I had in the back and it's actually 35 inches but it's not difficult at all for me to roll it and bring it down for the 32 inch that I need. And it's an old original tire so it'll fit the decor of the wheel that she would like. So to make this look older even though it's all going to be brand new I'm going to take my metal filings and vinegar and make a solution of that that I can treat this hickory, the spokes and the fellies, both are hickory, and it'll give it that older gray tone. I may do it a couple coats and kind of deepen that gray tone. And she would like a, a brownish tone to it, so I have some of my TWP, Total Wood Protectant, in that brown tone that I'll probably coat that with that as well. So anyway, we're going to build a new wheel and make it look old. So most new spoke blanks, when they come directly from spoke builders, they're 22 inches. Well, I'm going to build a 32, so I'm going to cut them down to 16 so I can focus on just 16 inches of the spoke to sandblast and leave that other 6 inches so I don't have to sandblast that much extra. I'm not sure how well this will show up on the camera. This is the one that I sandblasted and this is a new spoke. But when it sandblasts, it takes out the soft grain and leaves the hard grain. So it has kind of a weathered look to it. Uh, when I turn these gray with this metal filing vinegar solution, 
is going to accent that a little bit more. But you can see maybe some of these grains that have been eaten out as opposed to this one here that's still fairly smooth. So these are both hickory and they're both pretty hard. But this is what I'm looking for is more of a weathered look. Well, another request that she had was this is going to hang vertically and not horizontally like a chandelier would. This is going to lean up against the wall. Well, the concern was with the length of the inside of the hub, would this keep it too far away from the wall? So I suggested that I could cut the back end of this hub off. So I think what I'll do is put this back flange into the metal lathe before I press it onto the hub core. And I can take a parting tool or something and, and cut it off right about this ridge here, which will take about, what, two and a half inches or so? Two and a quarter inches, it'll let it sit that much closer to the wall. Then when I press it on, I can take this hub core and, and cut it off wherever I need it. I do need this flange because Sarvin wheels are riveted between every other spoke. So I do need this flange here, but I really don't need this extra back end of the flange. So I'm going to take and cut that off. Now if I do that, I won't be able to get into that ridge there, will I? It'll go small enough. You tap that on there. That is really close. As small as I'll go. Maybe that'll work. Might slow that down a bit. That's what I want. I take my sharp furs off. That will help. My wheel stand gets pretty greasy from old wheels, so for a house ornament, that's probably not so good. See if I can keep some of the grease off of that wheel. Before I put the spokes in, generally I like to have half of the flange on there to kind of contain that hub. So, what am I going to do here? Maybe I'll put this back in the lathe and cut that off before I put the spokes in. That'll get it closer to the wall. So initially I'll just stick four spokes in. Make sure they're all seated in tight.
this is where all of you who have been following for quite a number of years know that there's a quarter inch round head rivet that goes through these holes between every other spoke. So I want to end up with 32 outside and that's going to include the tire. The tire is quarter inch thick so there's a half inch in so I'm going to build my wheel to 31 and a half. I have my hub figured out that it is at four and a half. So 31 and a half minus four and a half is 27. Divide that in half. Each of my spokes are going to be 13 and a half. And then my fellow he is inch and a quarter thick. So I'm going to come from that 13 and a half back an inch and a quarter of an inch. And that's where my tenons will be cut. Now you know well enough that I do a lot of this pointing on a drill press. But it's also doable by hand. Sometimes you have a little more control. So if we do the math, 31 and a half outside, inch and a quarter here, inch and a quarter here, so minus two and a half, comes down to a 29 inch ID on the inside of this fellow. So you divide that out by 16 and we end up at 5.7 inches on the arc between spokes. Well, as I measure these just straight across, we're just Almost all of these are exactly just right at that five, seven area. So we're pretty uniform just where they set. But I think we're so close that I can just lay these fellies on and just mark them where they need to go. See my little saddle here just automatically centers that up in the curve. Adjust the length of the circumference to make sure all the joints come together at the spokes and the fillies. Just lightly touching. That's good. We won't increase our dish when we set the tire. Well, since I have an old tire that is 35 inches OD, I'm going to roll it and shrink it down a little bit. Go ahead and set the tire. 
I did measure this wheel to my sandblaster and I can fit it in my sandblaster. So I'm going to set the tire, do the shaping between the spokes, get it all fitted up. Then I'm going to put it back in the sandblaster and just give it the uniform rough raised grain over the whole wheel before I put my vinegar and metal filing treatment on it to make it go gray. Thirty-one and three-quarter, just a little more. Thirty-one and a half. So much for keeping the inside of my hub without grease, huh? Just gonna try to keep it flat. And little plates keep the tire from going too far past. Fit pretty well. I did three sixteenths under since it's a little smaller wheel. Just kind of center it up. Generally it's easier to move the wood into the steel but the frame of my tire stand is kind of in the way. So the tire shrinks, that little jarring with the hammer helps set those joints. Nice tight ring. And I'll do the fine tune adjustments. Make sure she gets centered on the tire. I'll sand it just enough to take my file marks off. Then I'm going to put it back in the sand buster and actually kind of rough it up. I think it'll just fit if I measured right. What about that? Well, I've had this vinegar and metal filings soaking for about half the day. We'll filter out some of the worst of the chunks and see if we can darken up this wood. So I do like to get it pretty wet. Do one side and then I'll turn it over and do the other side and see how gray it gets. I may do it kind of a couple times 
she would like this just old gray looking and then we'll put a kind of a brown oil finish that TWP like I mentioned earlier give it a little bit a little bit of a brown tone to it Kind of see where I got it on these spokes when I was doing the fellies, how it's already turning kind of a gray color. Already starting to work. Well, that makes one go around. Yeah, turn it over and do the other side. It's getting a nice dark tone to it already. Nice and wet. Now I'll turn it over and do the other side again. Yeah, I think we'll just let her dry and see what we got. Well, I think this turned out pretty well. It really has that older look to it. It's not totally gray. It has a little bit of brown tone to it. So I'll put a little coat of this TWP. This is a cedar tone. Kind of runny, so I got a drip pan underneath here. Give her a good wiping down, let her dry. Well, I think it turned out pretty nice. Has that old look, but that fresh oil look as well. She did stop by and look at it, and she was pretty pleased. And I was corrected, she's only 80 years old, not 81. But this will fit well into her new kitchen that she's having freshly remodeled. So I appreciate you following along in the process of making a new wheel look old. Thanks for watching.